guys welcome back to my channel welcome to vlogmas is this gonna go up tomorrow mm -hmm. it's the day number six, no day number 18 you'll see this it's Friday the 17th but you'll be watching no it's not it's Thursday the 17th but you'll be watching this on Friday the 18th so for anybody who's new to my channel this is my husband Matt um, it's been a while since you've been on here actually mm -hmm. But we wrote him in because I really wanted to do a stocking filler challenge. So, the rules were we had £20 budget, which I might have gone over a little. Definitely gone over. I think I spent £22.50. Beat me. £22.95. Okay, we had either B&M, Home Bargains or Poundland. So we actually did a vlog a little bit of going as well. Um, so we will input that. Hi guys, so I have just got two um, home bargains. I'm just checking I've got my mask. So I've got to pop into here to get a couple of things for Lu Lucas's birthday. Um, so we are going to be doing a challenge, so I thought oh, we'll pop in here because I've also got to get some BB cream. So I'm going to go in now. Um, I'll take you with me. I thought the queue was going to be huge, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, it doesn't seem to be that bad. So I can't actually see a queue. Oh, there is a queue. There's only a couple of people out the front. So the plan is to go in here see what i can get if i can't find anything in here i'm gonna to go to bnm so. so first i was gonna look at like this section but that has so much like shower gel and stuff um so i'm going over to like tech and things like this but again i don't think i'm gonna find anything that he would use that's quite cool though that slot machine look here just come out of bnm and one thing I realised immediately as soon as I walked in is I'm terrible at shopping. I have no idea what I'm going to get her. Shopping to a budget, £20 does not go a long way at all. I just end up looking at cheap stuff that I'm thinking, why does that cost that much? I'm going to head over to Poundland now and potentially home bargains, but we'll hope that she likes what I get. Okay, that home bargain is a fail. I've got RBV cream, which is what I came in for. Failing in every single section, so I'm going to be in it. Now, a lot later, about five hours later, it's dark outside. Um, I've done Poundland, Home Bargains, B&M twice, not what she's expecting. She's expecting the candles and slippers and maybe a bath bomb of sorts, but I am very hungry and I've thought about what I've got her and it is very food based. Rookie mistake. Round two, B&M, parked, mission away. So, I don't even know what to say to get him because he's so difficult to buy for. Um, anything he wants he will generally buy and I've already got him like something for Christmas, so oh, I don't know. I definitely think that Matt has got more than I have. Um, what we tried to do, that what I tried to do, was try and not waste twenty pounds. I was trying to like be really. I, I'm not gonna lie. You will have seen from the clips. I really struggled. I actually rang Matt at one point and was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't think I can. Honestly, I was really struggling. Do you want to start then? Do you want to go first then? Start small. Okay, let's okay. start small. Can't okay. tell you what it is. Okay, you've got to remember your prices, right? Uh huh. Okay. Pound shop. Oh, Easy okay. Easy to remember. The good stuff <laughs> for when your tooth's playing up. Anna did extra. Very thoughtful gift. I'm still struggling with my tooth, really bad. If again, if you're new, I've got a broken tooth, can't be sorted till next year. And paracetamol just won't do it. So, some aspirin and paracetamol. And caffeine. Lovely. Thoughtful present. Okay. Go on. Am I going to keep going? Oh, do you want to do one each? No, or? no. Um, some of mine go together, you see. Okay, go on. Okay. Eat. Kind of 
know what that is. Okay, well I know what this is because it was on the seat. And Matt went, it's a mood. You fell out the bag. You in a mood for me about this though, because I questioned you. So these are Tasty's McVitie's Digestives. Okay. Are these pound as well? Sam shop. Well. 49p. Oh. Doesn't matter, they're biscuits, not gonna. Okay. And, okay. Wensleydale and cranberry cheese, which I love, with digestives. Why not? Why don't you have them with crackers? We've got crackers. I never eat digestives. Digestives are sweet. I'm gonna put them in my seat. It doesn't matter, I'll eat them separately. Oh, wine. Pushing the budget boat out. Yeah, this is pretty much the amount that I went over by. Don't judge the wrapper. And what is it? Oh! It called out to me because it's three. Three mills. Because I'm a maiden name is Mills. Is yeah. that why? Three mills, red, soft, and mellow. I like it. Cheese, wine, crackers. And I'm using the rule of the cheaper, the better it tastes. <laughs> That's gone a bit mushy. I think I might need to put that back. That's where I wanted to do it now. <laughs> I'll go to that now, actually. Okay. Well, it feels like a hot chocolate. We should do this. You should guess like, what's in it because I'm just so good at guessing. <laughs> Hot chocolate it is. I know you were unimpressed with the low calorie stuff I bought last time, so. <laughs> I flat. asked him for some hot chocolate and he come back with like light hot chocolate. I was like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, hot chocolate. And get, oh. Marshmallows to go with the hot chocolate. Oh, Harry ones. I'm actually really happy to get these because you bought some from Aldi the other week, didn't you? And they were, and they were really not good. They were like um, really hard on the outside, like mm -hmm. they weren't mallowy enough. Okay, they were a pound from B and M. Okay, and then I saw them for seventy five p in Home Bargain. Oh, so I could have been another twenty five p on that. I know what the small one is on the top. I bought myself a pack of them in it. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely going to be either orange cream or strawberry creams because I bought the orange creams. Which, one, then, which uh, one would you prefer? Oh, the orange creams were really good. They were really good. I ate them yesterday when you were at work. I would like to try the strawberry ones. You're backpedaling a little. Oh no, I would prefer. See, he knows me so well. See, strawberry creams are my favourite when I have like Quality Street and stuff. But when I have like things like this, I do prefer the orange ones because I just think that. Was it last year? Mom and Dad bought us some. Last year, my mom and Dad they always put some strawberry and orange creams in our like stocking, and the strawberry creams weren't as nice as the orange ones. Just pour it into the box in the bin and have a go at me for eating them all. It's all coming You're out on camera. On camera. I am. Mm. Chocolate. Can we just say at this point, you know, Matt shouts at me for eating chocolate, biscuits, wine, and so far you've bought me. I shopped hungry. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Don't go shopping when you're hungry. Oh look, see, my favourite five of one chocolate bars. So we used to in PT mode at some point. I nearly bought you, well actually I did buy him. Um, Don't tell me. No, no, I did, but then I didn't put him in it because we ate them yesterday. <laughs> the, <laughs> I bought some Skinny Crunch, didn't I? Skinny, not Skinny Crunch, Skinny. Skinny. Skinny, skinny Bites. They were the new Rocky Road ones. Oh, they weren't. They were quite good nice actually. But yes, I love these. Cake bars. Cake bars. Oh my God, are these the strawberry ones? Have you bought strawberry ones as well? 
If there was one present that I know you can guess. Bourbons. <laughs> I can't believe you've bought me bourbon. Do you know how much this man shouts at me for eating biscuits? It's Christmas. Are you going to say that in the morning? Do you know what? I'm going to get the vlogging camera okay. out in the morning when I end up a cup of tea with my biscuits and you go, mm, you get how many of things are you going to eat? Portion control. Moderation. Po you don't have to eat them all at once. They're not going to go off in an hour. Oh, them the committee's bourbons. Not just any bourbons. 49 pence. Really? From B&M. Now that's really sh sh surprised me. <laughs> The Aldi ones are good, they're only 29 here, but that's not the so... We weren't allowed to do Aldi. We weren't, but do you know what? We should do an Aldi one, but like, we really want, I really want to do, but it's whether we're going to have the time to go out and get it because obviously of COVID. Um, we really wanted to do like a taste challenge of like expensive versus Aldi because mm. Aldi stuff is so good recently. I'm like the connoisseur of certain things, and you're the connoisseur of like pigs in blankets. I don't know what that is. I mean, I don't know why I made it before. I wasn't sure which one. And I thought you haven't tried the orange ones. Skinny, I have, and I like those. Okay. So you've got me skinny crunch, chocolate orange, peanut butter. I'm not a massive fan of those, but yeah. you you like them as well. <laughs> And the sticky toffee ones. So, so basically, so far, you've bought me food, food. and wine. Yeah. I don't think I've bought you one food item mm. because. It's a good job I've bought. <laughs> yeah. It's a... it's don't a judge the wrapping. Wine. It's not more wine, though. No. Well. <laughs> You're giving a very bad impression of me to the viewers here. Oh! Okay, all right. You know what, I'm actually really glad you've got this because we have this on Christmas morning yeah. and we hadn't got any yet. So that's one less thing I've got to buy. I'll be interested to know how much this was because it's £2.49 in Aldi. It's £2.99 everywhere else. It's the one thing that I kept checking. I got it in B&M. Two ninety nine, yeah. and it's the same in Home Bargains as well. A bottle of Book Spheres. I love book. on Christmas morning we have Book Spheres and some kind of pastry, so kind of chocolates or croissants made from scratch. Well, I say made from scratch. They're like the just roll ones. They Not kind made of from scratch. They're bought. They're bought, but they're <laughs> <laughs> they're baked. Okay. On Christmas morning, so they're nice and fresh. And two actual presents. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one, um, it was one I was struggling. I was struggling early on, and I was like, Do you know what? Pencils with erasers on the ends. You're not allowed to use your X ray vision. <laughs> One's a pen, one's a pencil. But you're always losing your pen, and you can't lose that, can you? So these are quite cool. Let's see what Oh, one says epic, and one says bestie, and it's a pen and a pencil. Love heart ones. You can get some nice Lovely. pens. Lovely. But they were like a pound each, and they were 79 pence for the two. I like them. Oh, let's, let's open this last one first. Yeah. This is a reed diffuser. <laughs> way too good at getting presents. Do you think I have a problem? <laughs> I think I have a problem. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely reed diffuser though. I thought for the office it's maybe. It's got a J on it. I love stuff with my initials on. Is it going to focus? Isn't that nice? So it's like a gold jade. Yes, this will go lovely in my office when it's done. So this was four pounds. It's a velvet orchid and honey. Ooh. You smell it? Yeah. That smells really nice. I really like, I just about everywhere. I really like that. So you definitely went for quantity. 
did it, yeah. I You've thought, got loads, you know what? though. Initially, I thought one nice present for like a tenner, and then pound shop, just little guineas for like a pound each, ten of them. And then I was like, there's nothing nice for ten pound. So I was like, okay. No, but I can use all these things. <laughs> <laughs> what is it friends friends isn't it okay okay so i have to let us know how matt did i don't dislike anything in here you were so, expecting slippers weren't you no because i've got slippers for christmas and a candle i did think you would get me a candle i thought you would get me a candle and they just gone nuts though. Literally, like for a decent sized candle, you're looking at like four or five quid, and I was like, I don't want to spend a quarter of my budget on that. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Are we ready, guys? Are you excited? Cool. Yeah. Okay, we'll start with this one because this one was like, okay. I'm not going to be able to guess anything. First of all, I spent £22.50 and I could have just spent £21.50 but I bought this like, I think I was panic buying at this point. So this is your first one. Heavy. Just open it. I'm going to be here all day. Bubble. No. Something for the, yeah, right on. Boosh. Awesome. Well, we haven't got much. any bubble bath for you, have we? And you like to have a soak and you've been got sore muscles. So. I keep pinching the kids' stuff and the <laughs> bubbles come up here. And it's... <laughs> yeah, lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Happy with that. Uh, um... <laughs> Tandor. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that before, should I? <laughs> Four quid. Not bad. Good size for four quid. Can we please explain the fact that Matt does put, use candles at the gym? I go through a lot of candles. Do you like it though? It smells nice. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Neutral. Vanilla. Love it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, ooh, we'll go with... Matt hasn't got as many because I was like. Socks. So the candle, by the way, was four pounds and the Radox was a pound. Socks. Clothing lessons. Ooh! <laughs> microfibers. Yes. Jumbo microfibers. Always running out of cloths. When he cleans the car, he says, I've got any cots. And he asks me all the time. <laughs> Every time. Awesome. Nice array. Very good. Well, the, the, I could have got, so those were four for £2.50. I could have got 20 for 3 99 But they were like the small ones, and I thought the jumbo ones would be better. Much better. Very good. Let's go this you're gonna guess this one. I've guessed them all so far. Mm -hmm. If you don't guess that, there's a problem. <laughs> it's which beer it is. No. This, I think, is a really good present. Beer in a mug. Roll. No. Stella. No. You know what they say about Stella? Okay. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Look at the size of that. That's what she said. So that was four ninety nine. They actually had that in home bugs and they had it in the then. That's class. But I thought it was a really good gift. Yeah. For a guy. Oh, or for a girl. Four ninety nine. Okay. I'll pile up the mug. Free bottle of beer. Might have that now. In a minute. <laughs> Okay, we've got two left. We'll go with oh, this one. How am I doing so far? Awesome. Very happy. I was at this section for a long time. 
so I hope I've got the right thing. I really wanted to get something else, but it was more expensive, and I'd have like, I'd have literally spent over half my budget. Car cleaning products. Stuff. No. So I was gonna get him like a foam cleaner, a foam spray, but that was ten pound, and I was like, mm. but he does love car stuff. But this is a, to prevent your car freezing. So Matt hates scraping the windscreen on the morning, or have to come in and get like hot water or whatever or water. So this you spray on the night before. Or before you go in on a cold night and it's to prevent the windscreen from frosting up entirely. The night before, just spray on and leave. Demonise those where it's sprayed, no ice will form. So I thought you might like that because you don't like... Yeah, like, give that a go, definitely. Cherry fragrance. That's, that sold it for me as well. <laughs> I know you like a cherry fragrance for your car. Okay. Last one. Last one. So the Demonise was three ninety nine. Okay. This is the last one. Unless it's painkillers, I have no idea. <laughs> I did think when you handed me the first one, I was like, I wonder if it's the same thing, because it's from Pound Shop, but it wasn't a pound. It was more than a pound. It's actually, I'll tell you, well, you can guess it. Track me, smart tracker. This was a, how much? Five pound this was. I was going to say. From the pound shop, though. Track me smart tracker. So we've got attach this smart tracker to your keys, bag, wallet, pets, etc. Start tracking them at the touch of a button, never lose anything ever again. How does it okay? Bluetooth, so the keys mostly because it's gonna be in the house. Gonna be in the house is yeah. Bluetooth, so it's not for something that I couldn't leave it in the car and say I've got a tracker on my car. <laughs> no. But okay. How often do we lose the keys? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> I wonder how accurate it is. I'm going to have to try that. Do you like it? Yeah. I have to get the boys to hide them and then we go and find them. Yeah. So that was £5. They did it in blue, black and pink. Do you want to let me show you? Yeah. So I thought this was, again, a really good present for a guy, or, or a girl, actually, because, like I said, they did it in pink, but it's called a Track Me, and like you say, you put it on your keys, or you can put it on your pet collar. I don't know how good it is for things like that, though, because Bluetooth hasn't got an amazing range. Maybe about 10 metres, I think. 25 metres. So, if you've got a big garden, <laughs> maybe, but it's not going to be amazing if your like, cat gets out or whatever, or your dog. But... Yeah, impressed. Very impressed. You've done good. Not as good as me. I think I've won, but I'm just saying that because I just think I'm awesome. Comments, <laughs> please. Let us know in the comments below. I definitely went for quality over quantity, and you went for quantity over quality. Not that there's... Oh, God, I've stuck with hole then. You know what I mean, though? Oh. <laughs> you definitely went for quantity. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that is it guys. That is our stocking filler challenge. Let me know who you think won and leave it in the comments below. But yeah, I had a really, really good time doing it. I hope it gave you some ideas because I always think it's really difficult buying for a man, if I'm honest. And like I say, I did really struggle, but I'm really pleased with what I got and I thought I was really proud of what I got. And you did really well too, because I could eat all of this, in fact. <laughs> I might have this now because it's getting a bit <laughs> late so why not but yeah thank you so much for watching if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until tomorrow's vlog uh, it'll be Saturday tomorrow so I don't vlog over the weekend if anything exciting happens then I will let you know but if not have a lovely weekend and I will see you on Monday and it is Lucas's birthday on Monday we're going to have a three-year-old. Another three-year-old. So, yeah, I will vlog Monday and hopefully get that up on Monday night. 
probably going to be having a heart attack because we've bought my trampoline. Not a good idea. No, really Pimples not. Pimples by. Yeah. So yeah, I will speak to you on Monday, guys. Bye. As long as I spend this day with you, mm -mm, so beautiful.